Currently, I hate this keyboard. So, I'm gonna try my best to maybe not hate it as much. We're gonna make it look pretty. Hopefully. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. Today, we are gonna paint this keyboard. I despise this keyboard. If you've seen my review on it, you know I don't like it. I'll leave a link to that in this little top area if I can. If not, it'll be in the description. But this is a Kmart gaming mechanical keyboard. It comes with obviously blue switches and I, I don't like it. It performs poorly, it's very cheap and it looks disgusting. So, I'm going to rectify one of those issues today and hopefully make it not look so disgusting. How do I rate my painting skills out of 10? A solid 2, but anything will be better than how I currently feel about this keyboard. So I bought some supplies and we're going to give it our best shot, okay? In this box, I have some sandpaper that we're going to use to wrap up the surface and make it a little bit nicer. I bought some primer. Now with that primer, we're gonna make sure that the surface is ready for the paint. I've got a primer filler just because the quality of the shell that the keyboard is in has already got scratches and dints in it. So hopefully this is gonna help smooth them out, make it look a little bit nicer. Now as far as colors go, I asked everybody on Instagram what they thought. If you haven't joined us on Instagram yet, the link will be in the description. Just, you know, come say hi. You don't have to, but we're really nice. So the colors we ended up choosing was a matte white, we went with a dusty pink because that's going to be sick and I'll explain why. We also went with a creation blue just because I know you guys obviously want the technical terms for these colours. I know. Uh, and then we have a clear coat because I want to make sure the paint's protected to last this amazing quality keyboard that's already probably the same amount of money I paid for the paint. But it's not the point. The point is, can we paint a keyboard and if we can't, then I'd much prefer to destroy this one than a good one. So we're in it together now. Let's just get these out of the way. This keyboard comes with these black keys. They are cheap, they are gross, and I'm not gonna paint them. The reason I'm not gonna paint these is I still want all the key markings on there and I want the light to shine through if it ever gets plugged in again, but I have a solution. So we have had this little set of keycaps that we got off eBay for like $8. We have had this in our drawer for ages. We only bought them just to see what the quality would be like for eight bucks. And it, to be honest with you, it's not much worse than this <laughs> that came with this keyboard. But these are a, are a blue and a purple color. Let's get a couple of these out, we'll have a little look. So they're this blue and purple sort of color tone. And I think with any luck, the blue is similar to the paint we picked and the purple is gonna match really well with that pink, I hope. That's the plan. So the plan is gonna be, I wanna paint the base of the keyboard white, pretty much everywhere, and then we're gonna tape it up with some weird geometric lines, spray maybe the pink or the blue. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm winging it at this point. So we're gonna paint it all white. I'm gonna take it apart completely, make sure that the shell is completely separated, sand it down, paint the primer on it, and we'll just see how that turns out. So enjoy me taking apart a keyboard. Okay, so we have the bottom of the keyboard, we have the top grill of the keyboard. I got all the switches out and there's the board as well ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out into my garage, sand this bad boy down and hit it with its first couple of coats of primer. See what it looks like. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is trying to put these switches back in if there's a buildup of paint, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm no, uh, I'm no painter, but um, that's the only thing that's like really concerning me. But I think we'll, we'll take off the feet, the rubber feet. We'll take off these little switch things as well. And then uh, we'll take it down there, sand it down and uh, give it a prime. Cause that'd be sick. <laughs> okay, I've set it up outside. I'm gonna give it a quick sand down and then we'll start to prime. Uh, and I'm gonna put a hat on because this is annoying. I'll be back. I 
hit them both with an 800 and a 1500 wet sandpaper. I'm gonna rinse them off, give them a dry, and then we'll uh, chuck the primer on. All right, I've primed the whole thing, it's all dry. Now I'm gonna give it its first coat of white. All right, first coat of white's on, it's drying. It should be good to go. I've gotta wait about an hour to do the next coat. So I reckon I'm gonna do another two coats of white. We'll see how it looks after this first coat's dry. And then uh, after I've done those, we'll tape it up and uh, start doing some colors. Okay, white's all done, it's all dry. I've done a bunch of different coats. We're gonna put the first layer of masking tape on it and then hit it with the first bit of color. Hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's all taped up, it's all ready to go. Now the top is gonna to be this color, so I reckon we're gonna do the blue with the white stripes on the top, and then we're gonna do that dusty pink on the bottom. So I'm gonna put the bottom part on the little spray booth, and we're gonna, I'm just gonna spray the bottom one first, and hopefully it doesn't look terrible, because that's the goal. Alrighty, all the pink paint's done. It's taking me a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take, waiting an hour for every coat to dry, but I'm gonna start putting the blue layers on the top plate, and then we should be done, and then a clear coat. But that's not worrying about now. Okay. All of the colors are done, dried, finished. I've taken the tape off, I've done one coat of clear. I'm gonna finish off the coats of clear and then we'll start putting it back together. And I'll show you what it looks like. So there you go, can you paint your own keyboard? Yes. Does it look the best? No. Is it bad? Also, equally no. I think it looks pretty good. I think for the first time I've ever done anything like this, I think it could have turned out a lot worse. I have had to keep a couple of black keys on there because the enter key is not the same as the keys that I had. Um, obviously I should have checked that before I painted the keyboard, but I didn't, so now we're left with this. I actually don't even mind the black escape key and space and enter. I don't know, I think it breaks up the color a little bit. I am really happy with the way that it turned out. It's not perfect, which is fine. None of us are. So it's, it's, it's good enough. I, th I think it's good enough. For a crappy keyboard that I hated having in my office, to now something that I can look at and go, I did that. I painted that and made it look a little bit nicer. So that's enough for me. Yes, it doesn't take a lot to please me, but this does. So don't roast me and how this looks. I am super curious to see 
what do you guys think? If you like it, if you don't like it, please let me know. Because I worked really hard on this and I think, I think it looks sick. I think it looks really cool. I think it could have looked a hell of a lot worse. And for what we did, I think it, it was good. Like even though it's not the prettiest looking thing in the world, I enjoyed the experience of just taking apart a crappy keyboard and putting it back together and painting it. I, I enjoyed that and I would actually recommend you do this if you have an old dodgy keyboard that you want to mess around with. It was a hell of a lot of fun. I think I spent $20 on all the painting equipment from sandpaper, paint, primer and the clear. Everything was like 25 or 20 bucks Australian, which is, is nothing for, for an afternoon of fun. So you, <laughs> you should try it out. If you have any questions on how I did this or exactly what paint I used or just want to ask me stuff, absolutely do that. Leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you liked this video or thought it was fun or helpful or fun and helpful, uh, like the video. It helps the channel out a lot. Also, subscribe because it's completely free and there's new videos every week and you don't want to miss out on that, I think. <laughs> if you want to join us anywhere else, we have a Discord server. It's full of great people. You should definitely join it. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Come and join it. We've got a great family of people. They're all really lovely and they like to make fun of me. So if you want a piece of that, you know where to go. <laughs> if you want to come and check out our stream, we stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I'll leave a link to that below. Come and join it. It's a great bit of fun. You might even enjoy yourself. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you had a good morning. I hope you have a good night. Bye.